Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to try out a lot of new ColourPop products. It's been a while since I've done like a review on some new launches. So I feel like their PR packages have kind of been piling up a little bit. And now I have quite a few new things that I really wanted to try out. So let me show you, I put them all in one box. So I've got quite a few things. Lots of eyeshadow palettes. We've got some brow products. We've got new cheek palettes, which I think launched today, the day I'm uploading this video. They're like blush quads, which are really fun. We also have eyeshadow quads, which seem really exciting. Um, we have another entire line of eyeshadow, not quads. What do you call them when there's five shades? Are there five or six shades in this one? I can't remember. No, there's five shades in these. So this was another launch. These are like really colorful palettes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to dip into these. I'm kind of leaning toward the quads. That's something that, I don't know, just makes me a little more excited because they're a little more everyday and you guys know me in my basic everyday makeup. This is like my favorite. And then we have a bunch of new brow stuff. We have the Feather Effect Styling Wax. We've got some pencils and then a new mascara too, called the Act Natural Mascara. They sent me two because there's two shades. There's black and brown. So that's what we're gonna be trying. I'm gonna be using some other drugstore products. I'm gonna be using some other favorite ColourPop products, but this is gonna be the main focus, is just trying these new things. Okay, so before we get too invested in like the new things, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started on my base. I've already put a little bit of lip balm on. Today I used the KKW Beauty, uh, what is this called? Glossy Lip Balm? I don't know, it doesn't have the name on it but I just recently tried this out, really, really like it. I'm gonna also use a primer today. I wanted to dip back into um, my Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. I really enjoyed it the last time I wore it and I'm wanting to try it again with another type of foundation product. So I'm just gonna take this and apply it through the T-zone because that's where I want things to look nice and blurred and that's where I want to control my oils throughout the day. For foundation, I thought it would be a great time to pull out my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I love this stuff. And now that the weather's kind of warming up a little bit, I feel like tinted moisturizers are just coming back into my routine. So this is the shade Fair 4N. I'm gonna take this on my It Cosmetics Love is a Foundation brush, and I'm just gonna apply this all over. I love both the Tinted Moisturizer and the Pretty Fresh Foundation from ColourPop. The foundation is obviously more full coverage. This is a little more on the lighter coverage side. I'm just kind of like throwing this on the skin. And then I'm gonna go in with my Flower Beauty sponge. I'm just gonna pick up what's left on the back of my hand and then just take that sponge and press it into the skin. I forgot how much I love that stuff. It just feels so nice and lightweight on the skin and it looks like my skin still which is always great. Um, for concealer, I felt like using the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer. Again, another really great everyday type of formula. And I'm using the shade Ivory Light One. We're just gonna focus this on the areas that need a little more coverage or brightness. I'm not gonna worry about like spot concealing anything on the sides of my face. So I'm just gonna go back in with that sponge and blend this all out. I'm taking what's left on the sponge and just going across the eyelids to kind of brighten that area as well. I'm gonna take my number seven translucent perfect light loose powder and I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna use this to set the under eye concealer as well as the eyelids before anything creases. I'm also taking that down the center of the face because again, that's where I tend to get the most oily. I'm also gonna kind of press what's left onto the rest of the cheeks just so that when we blend out like the blush quad, nothing sticks to the skin. I'm gonna go back in with my sponge just to make sure everything is super smooth. Let's do brows next. I think that's what we should do. So here we go, I've got all these brow products. Now I'm pretty sure, oh wait, no these are new aren't they? The Precision Brow Pencil? Because wasn't the other brow pencil called like Brow Boss Pencil? Am I making that up? These pencils must be new. Um, they sent me two shades, they sent me light, what is this? Light brown and bangin' brunette. I might actually use both, we'll see. I'm just gonna flip this over and use the spoolie really quickly. I don't know if I should use the styling wax first. Honestly, I'm like still such a newbie when it comes to the soap brow kind of um, waxy brow finish. I feel like those products 
just have taken me a minute to figure out and I still don't feel like I have figured them out, but I'm gonna give them a shot. So we've got this new ColourPop Feather Effect Styling Wax. It comes in two shades. We have the tinted one and the clear one. Because I'm so new with these types of products still, I feel even though I've been trying to use them for a while, um, I'm gonna stick to the clear one. I think you would spray this, yeah. Some of these waxy products you don't have to spray, like the Anastasia one that recently launched. I haven't tried that one yet, but that one you don't have to use a spray for, um, but I'm gonna use my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist and just give that a little bit of a spritz. Then I'm gonna take the brush. This is actually nice. This is the Feather Effect Brow Brush. I really like the angle. It's a really cool angled spoolie. So now I'm going to dip into this clear wax. I hope I'm gonna do this right. Okay, now, did I get enough? Hmm, I can't tell if I picked up enough product on the spoolie, but we're just going for it. <laughs> okay, I sprayed a little bit more of the setting spray into the pan and I feel like getting it a little bit more damp helped me pick up some extra product. So now, I'm just running that through both of my brows. I feel like this type of brow styling always reminds me how I need to trim my eyebrows. <laughs> okay, I feel like, oh wow. Yeah, there definitely was product in there because I'm feeling it dry down and it feels like it's gonna dry down pretty solid. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for just a little bit before going into the, um... oh wait, whoa, I'm so confused. There's brow boss pencil and there's precision brow pencil. Wow, as I'm dropping everything. So they sent me, the Brow Boss Pencil in Light Brown, and then the Precision Brow Pencil in Bang & Brunette. What, what's the difference? Okay, well, they are different. Look, the packaging is different. It's a little bit taller on the Precision one. I can't open this. <laughs> there we go. What the, okay. Here's the difference. Right here we have the Precision, and here we have the Brow Boss. The packaging is obviously different. I'm assuming the formula is different, but the Brow Boss is a more thin pencil, it looks like which is kind of interesting. Alrighty, well, we will attempt to use both. I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of press down the brow hairs. And let's use the new Precision Brow Pencil. I'm gonna use this to start to fill in the outside of the brow. I'm doing my best here to try to fill in the ends over top of the wax. I feel like it does make things a little bit more difficult with a pencil over a wax. Sometimes brow pens are a little easier to work with with a brow style like this, but I'm trying. Okay, I think I'm gonna go into um, the Brow Boss pencil now. And again, this is in the shade Light Brown. I'm gonna try to use this in the center, just for a little bit of a softer effect in the middle of the brow. You know what I like about the wax? I feel like it is malleable still. Like I'm able to brush through it after using a pencil on top, but once I brush it, it really does still hold its shape. It doesn't like break the hold and then not have any structure to it. It still hangs onto the structure, which is nice. That's as good as it's gonna get, I feel like, for the brows for now. Again, this is a style of brow that I feel like I haven't quite mastered yet, but I like the idea of it. I would like to get better at it. I feel like that looks pretty nice. Okay, next up are the eyeshadow quads. So they launched six different eyeshadow quads. They're all kind of in like the neutral family, which is nice. They have some that are more cool toned, they have some that lean warm toned, um, some are a little bit more on the neutral side. So I think I'm going to use either, I've been eyeing either the shade Cream Soda, I will open for you, or Sorbet. And apparently there's a new formula in this quad, like a new pressed glitter something or other. I don't remember what the exact formula was, but I think the metallics are a little bit of a new formula, if I'm not mistaken. Here are the two that I'm kind of into color-wise. I mean, of course I'm leaning mauve, but hmm, hmm. Which one do I do? I think maybe I'll do this one, just because, uh, well, <laughs> here's me being indecisive about eyeshadows. This is what happens in my brain all the time, like behind the scenes when I'm trying to do my makeup. I really have the hardest time picking because they're both so pretty. Mm, no, I'm gonna use the mauve one. So this is called Sorbet. I'm gonna start off with this bottom lighter mauve shade. I'm gonna tap off the excess and let's see if there's any Creasing. There's a little bit on this eye. I'm gonna pat that out and then use what's left on my powder brush to set. Okay, let's go ahead and use this color in the crease because it is a little bit of a deeper shade on me. 
So I'm gonna put it in the crease and then once there's a little left on the brush, I'm gonna use it as my transition by buffing it a little bit higher. Same thing on this eye. You know what I haven't done in a while is a halo eye. Maybe I should do that. That sounds nice. I'm just really taking my time buffing this out here to make sure that the area toward the brow is nice and diffused with what's left on the brush. I'm just gonna be lazy and take the same brush, dip into that same color and pinch the brush and just run that across the entire lower lash line. Okay, I think that's a really nice start. I love that shade, but again, I am such a sucker for um, mauve shadows. I don't know, I love them. All right, let's go ahead and dip into the slightly deeper shade on the bottom as well, so it's another matte. You know, I kind of like the idea of an eyeshadow quad because in all reality, I feel like I don't really use more than five eyeshadows for a look, usually. So this is kind of convenient if you just want a palette where you're gonna actually use every single shade. A quad might be the way to go. I'm taking this and I'm starting to define the outer edge of the eye and then blend it into the crease a little bit. And like I said, I do think I wanna do a halo eye. So I'm gonna take that same color and just start to buff this into the inner portion of the lid as well. And then connect the two in the crease. I actually love this color. It's a little bit more of like a burgundy. So it's really, really flattering. It's not too cool toned. Uh oh, there was a little fallout with that shade right here under the eye. But that's all, that's pretty good for how dark that shade is. I probably should have done my eyes first, but I just didn't know like what direction I was gonna go, so here we are. I'm taking the brush we were using before. I didn't add any more product to it. I'm just making sure that those edges are blended around the brow. I'm gonna take a little bit of a smaller brush, dip into that same dark shade, tap off the excess really well, and I'm gonna take that along the lower lash line on the outer edge first. Then I'm gonna leave the center bare and go into the inner third, just to kind of mimic that halo effect. Now that I have that on the lower lash line, I'm gonna dip into the same color and just add a tiny bit more on the outer corner, just to make sure the depth matches. And I'm taking what's left on the brush and just kind of sweeping that in the inner corner again. Not the inner corner, right before the inner corner. Now it's time for the shimmer shades. So, oh, these have shade names, I didn't even realize. Well, I'm gonna take the deeper, shimmer, it's like a nice pink shimmer. I think this is called Scooped. I never know how to read the back of these because I feel like brands do them differently. Like sometimes it's the actual corresponding shade right behind it and other times it's like how you look at the palette. So I just don't really know. <laughs> I'm gonna take this shade right here, whatever that is. Ooh, it's very soft. Here's what it looks like on my finger. I'm gonna use my finger to apply this and just start by tapping this in the center of the lid. Ooh, oh, this must be their new formula because it's like a mix between a metallic, but then there's definite like glittery reflex that are so beautiful. I'm just gonna take my brush and try to blend out the edges a little bit with that. So it's just such a buttery shade. I feel like I didn't even press too hard on my eye and it really went metallic. Wow, wait, these are really beautiful. Same thing on this eye. Wow, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I was not expecting to like this as much as I am. It just looks really high-end. It looks very luxurious. I already love ColourPop's formulas, but I wasn't sure about the quads because it's like, I don't know, at least for me, I own so many eyeshadow palettes. I wasn't sure if it would be something that would like floor me, but whatever this new formula is, is so nice. I took a little bit more of that same color on another brush. I'm gonna spray it with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Mist. Cause I'm gonna put this on the lower lash line now. I'm gonna be really gentle and just kind of press that in the center of the lower lash line. I'm just gonna quickly sweep away any fallout since that shade was a little bit on the more glittery side. I do wanna take the lightest shimmer shade, this one right here on that same brush, I'm tapping off the excess cause this one seems pretty glittery as well. And I'm gonna use this as the inner corner highlight, just gently pressing that into the inner corner. And then I'm also gonna take that same shade, spray it again, and I'm gonna use this to try to intensify the very, very center of the lid. Wow. They're so metallic when you just apply it with your fingertips. When you wet a brush, it's like next level. That's so pretty. Okay, same thing. I'm just going back with my powder brush and sweeping away any fallout. I'm just gently going back in with the brush we used with the transition shade earlier. I didn't add anything else to it. I'm just kind of going right below where I just applied all those shades on the lower lash line 
and just making sure that there's a little bit more color bleeding down into the under eye area. Wow, okay, there was quite a bit of fallout when applying that shimmer shade in the inner corner and the lower lash line, so just keep that in mind. I don't know how much I could have avoided that um, since a lot of it is coming from the lower lash line, but I could have probably tried to be a little more careful than I was. Next up, let's try the new ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara. So I'm gonna actually just use the shade black. I was going to maybe use brown and black, but with this eye look, I really feel like a black mascara will suit it better. So here's the packaging before I open this. Here's the packaging. Um, I'm a huge fan of the BFF mascara from ColourPop, so I'm excited to see how this formula works. Here's the brush. It's a little bit more tapered. It's still nice and fluffy and voluminous, but not as fluffy as the BFF one. The BFF one has more of an hourglass shape. This one is more just tapered. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on this eye first, and I'm gonna see how well it builds up. I mean, this might not have been the most ideal mascara to use with this look because I think it is supposed to be more of like a natural looking everyday mascara that's not too volumizing. And I am someone who really loves a lot of volume, especially in front of more bold eyeshadow looks. So yeah, this is definitely more of like a separating, lengthening kind of a mascara. I think it would look really beautiful with something more simple on the eyes. It still looks good in front of my eyeshadow right now, but I wouldn't have chosen this to go with this eye look, if that makes sense, but that's okay. We'll still try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that same mascara to the lower lashes. I could see a lot of people liking this um, type of a mascara though, for every day especially. It's not clumpy at all. It really just separates and lengthens and I'm building it up quite a bit so you could make it even more natural and fluffy looking if you just stopped at one coat like that. But I need as much volume as I can get, so I'm gonna keep layering. Okay, well, I really do like the eyes, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and put some bronzer on. I'm gonna use my Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Dolce. I'm just gonna add a bit of warmth to the face with this. And then we're gonna try out those blush quads. I'm excited to try those, because you guys know how much I love blush. I'm taking a powder brush and just going over the edges to make sure everything is blended. And I'm actually gonna take a little bit of the number seven Lift and Luminate powder um, and just try to put a little bit of this under the eyes before moving on to blush, just to see if I can kind of brighten that a little bit and cover up some of the fallout. Okay, next up, we are gonna try out the cheek palettes. Well, I'm gonna try out one cheek palette, but it comes in five different shades. I'm gonna open up a few of these just to see what I think would match my eye look best. Okay, so I'm definitely leading between these two for me. So we have the Sugar Frosted Cheek Palette and Extra Glazed. Hmm, I'm leaning toward the more pink one for this eye look, but this looks great for every day. Alrighty, well, we have three blushes and a highlighter in every palette, which is kind of nice. Are they super shock highlights? Oh, <gasps> they are. Oh, that's so fun. Ooh, okay, I'm excited. I'm gonna take the bottom shade first. This seems to have more of a matte finish. I'm gonna smile and apply this to the apples of the cheeks. That's such a pretty bright pink, but I do wanna layer up this slightly brighter pink, which might have a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't know. I'm gonna do that a little bit higher on the face. I think that looks really nice. It's definitely more of like a buildable formula, but I think that's great for every day. I don't mind when a blush is more buildable. I actually prefer it in a lot of ways so that I can not go overboard <laughs> since I love blush so much. Um, I'm gonna take the Super Shock Highlight and I'm gonna pinch my Flower Beauty sponge and dip into that and then start to build this up on the high points of the face. Ooh, that's pretty. That has a nice like pinky undertone as well, which I think looks really good with the eyeshadow palette that I used. There's nothing quite like a super shock highlight, you know? There just really isn't. That's so pretty. Okay, this is where I'm gonna take my finger and just gently apply a little bit down the center of the nose and a little on the cupid's bow. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off any foundation that got on the lips. I'm gonna take one of my favorite mauve lip liners, which is also from ColourPop. This is in the shade Oh Snap. And I'm just gonna line the lips with this. And I'm also gonna fill in the lips, actually. I love that lip liner color. It's one of my all-time favorites. I'm gonna layer one of the ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Crayons on top, just for a little sheen. This one is Shaka. 
Okay, I think that completes the makeup look, trying all this new ColourPop makeup. I really like how everything turned out. It's definitely more glittery under the eyes than what I ideally would have wanted, but again, I didn't do the eyes first, so that could have easily been solved. Let's go through everything really quickly. I will leave a note in the description box as I wear it through the rest of the night to let you know how everything holds up. I'm especially curious about the mascara, so I'll let you know if it smudges or flakes on me um, by the time I'm ready to take it off to go to bed. So I'm gonna wear this for as long as possible. I am kind of filming this later in the evening, but I'm gonna try to wear this for a long time. I have high hopes for the mascara because the BFF mascara works well for me. So yeah, check the description box for like a detailed overview of the wear test tonight. Um, but based off my first impressions, starting with the brow products. You know, I really do like the way my brows look. Again, I don't know if I'm someone who like is good at this kind of a brow style and I've had a couple of other products like this and I try to enjoy them and I try to use them in my everyday routine and it just doesn't stick the way that my normal pencils and clear brow gels do. So if you're someone who's into this, if you've been using like a bar of soap or something like that to achieve the same look, I think this is really nice. I liked again how much hold it had, but also how flexible it is. Of course, we'll have to see how it wears throughout the night, but I didn't dislike it, I really do like it. I just don't think that I personally will get tons and tons of use out of a product like that just because I've seen myself attempt to do the same brow style and it just doesn't happen all that much for me. Not to say I don't like it, I do really like how it looks but I don't know if it's like a necessity for me personally. The eyeshadow quads, wow, I was not expecting to love these as much as I do. Obviously, this is gonna be a product where you're gonna have to figure out what would add to your collection. If you are super inspired by any of the colors in these quads, I feel like you wouldn't be disappointed in the formula. I mean, I only tried one, so I can't speak for every other shade, but if the formula is the same, in the rest of the quads, I really am excited to try all the other ones and I do feel like it's a wonderful formula. I feel like my eyes look so high-end and the shine of the metallics are so pretty. I was definitely not expecting to love the metallics as much as I do. I thought they might just be like normal color pop metallics, but I do feel like there's something different. There's something more luxurious about this. So yeah, if you feel like these colors would add to your collection or if you're someone who doesn't really wear eyeshadow all that often, so you don't wanna buy a full blown palette, a quad like this would be really nice because you would actually be able to dip into all four shades. It's really easy to create a look. It's foolproof actually. You don't have to worry about, you know, how to pair colors together. So that's something I really like about eyeshadow quads. I reach for eyeshadow quads on those occasions where I don't even wanna to try to think about what kind of an eye look I wanna do, but I want it to turn out looking like I tried. I think that's nice about quads. It kind of curates the color palette for you. It makes it really easy. So yeah, if you're someone who would like that, then it would be really nice. If you feel like you own a lot of colors like this and you don't reach for smaller palettes, then pass on it, you know? Truly these days, I feel like there are so many good makeup products out there that it's not necessarily all the time about like what's a good formula or not. It's more about your own personal taste, your own personal collection, and like what would make you happy personally. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, really, really, really loving the eye look that I made today. The cheek palette, I mean, I think it looks really pretty. I'll have to keep using it. That highlight melted into the skin. I really like the idea of a Super Shock highlighter mixed in with three blushes. I think that's really fun. I am a blush person, so I personally feel like I'm gonna get some use out of this. I love face quads, like my Dior palettes. I'm obsessed with, like the highlighter quads. Um, Dior doesn't have a blush quad, but I just do find myself reaching for face quads like that. So I could really see myself continuing to use this. I'm excited to try the other shades, specifically Sugar Frosted, because I think that would look really nice on my skin tone as well for more of like a muted um, peachy kind of a look. These two shades are calling my name for sure. Um, yeah, I think they're really nice. I'm excited about them, but obviously this is just a first impression. So I gotta keep using these and figuring out um, what sticks in my routine. The mascara, okay, so 
I think it built up really nicely. Again, I'll leave a note letting you know if it's smudged or flaked at the end of the night, but I could see myself reaching for this more on an everyday basis. Um, I do think I would have used something a little bit different for this specific look, but I do think it defined the lashes. I liked how it lengthened and separated. I purposefully made it a little bit more voluminous and clumpy because that's what I like, especially with more glamorous eye looks, but on the first coat, it looks very, very natural. So yeah, I could see a lot of people enjoying this formula because there's so many people who, um, when it comes to a mascara, they like can't stand when their eyelashes clump together at all. I'm someone who like purposefully clumps together my lashes a little bit. I like the effect of that. Um, but I know so many people who do not like that. Like they want every single lash separated. And so I feel like those kinds of people would enjoy this. Obviously, the wear of it really matters. So. We'll have to see how that works. And then the brow pencils, I feel like those were nice as well. Again, I don't know. There's just something about me with that type of a, a style that I'm not super comfortable with yet or something. And I don't know if these products floored me the way the new NYX brow pen did or the Milani brow pen. I'm kind of into more of that kind of a formula. And I'm also kind of into like brow powders right now. So... For me, I don't feel like the brow pencils are a must have, like go run out and buy type of a thing, but I think they made a nice eyebrow look at the end of the day. Is that everything? I think it is. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was really fun to finally sit down and try out some of these new ColourPop launches that have been launching so much. And I feel like it was really fun to especially try out the eyeshadow quads and the cheek quads. That's what I was personally the most excited about. Let me know what you guys are the most excited about out of these new launches. Did you buy anything? Cause I know the eyeshadow quads have launched already. Same with the brow products, same with the mascara. So a lot of these are already available. And if you pick them up, I would love to know if you've tried them out yet and how you feel about them. Ultimately, I really loved how my makeup turned out today. So yeah, if you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.